So I changed, got rid of the oil and I put the oil back to where it should be, to the correct level. And now I'm going to show you how to get rid of the maintenance light with the uh, oil change interval light. So uh, the key's already in the ignition. It's kind of dark. Let me... So the key's in the ignition. Now, everything's off right now. Those lights are on just because your battery always gives you a small trickle of uh, electricity. Now, so everything is off. The car key's in the off position. See the key's out. I can put the key back in now. You're going to go, want to go to the first position. You're going to want to go to the second position to do this. But I'm going to go run through it. So you're going to go to the first position, which will just turn on your radio, your small lights. Now, you're going to want to go to your accessory. You want to turn on your accessory lights, uh, which is the second position which will turn everything on. Now you see this little light? That is gonna be the light that we want to um, reset. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit. That's gonna be the light that we're gonna to wanna to reset, the maintenance light. Now as you can see here, we're gonna to wanna to put that <laughs> negative seven to 100, back to 100%, which means um, it's uh, the oil is brand new. Uh, as you can see, it normally goes down to zero. I let it get down to negative seven. People normally also uh, just let it get down to maybe 10%, maybe 15%. But I put in full synthetic, and I believe I only ran my car down to um, 6,000 miles, maybe. I think my last uh, oil change was only eight months ago. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to this little uh, like the reset uh, stick here. Yeah. That reset stick right here. Now, you're going to toggle through these uh, separate displays. Trip A to be able to reset that. Trip B to be able to, uh, which is your temperature and also another reset trip. So, And then um, you're going to go right back to the oil light. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So there's your first, which was your mileage. And your uh, uh, one trip. And then you hit it again, temperature. And then the same trip, I believe. And then the second one, which is trip B, which is the, uh, yeah, 6,000 miles. So, and that, I always put my oil on the six on the uh, second second trip. So, now let's go back to where we were supposed to be. And from here, we're going to press and hold. We're going to press this uh, reset uh, uh, stick, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to press it and we're going to hold it for at least 10 seconds. So... We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds until it starts to blink. There we go. And then we're gonna let go of the button. And then we're gonna press it in one more time for five seconds. And that'll bring it back up to 100. And the light that was there, the maintenance light is gone. So that's how you do that. That's how you reset it. And then that's it. And then you're all done with your oil change. What I normally do for after here is I'll go, there's the first trip. I'll go to trip B and then I'll reset this. And that'll tell me how much mileage between my oil intervals. And the first one, I normally do to, um, to either do other um, intervals, but I mostly do it just so I can kind of measure my fuel economy. And so my, yeah, my mileage is still pretty low at 37,000 miles. Um, and that's it. And that's how you take care of your, that's how you, uh, a, a really important maintenance to be able to take care of your car to make it last longer. One last side note, when I uh, when I was filling up my, my car's oil, you're going to have your bottom circle, which is your low. The one, uh, and then you're going to have your top circle, which is your full. You always want to be in between those two circles. Because overnight, everything's going to, um, your car's oil, everything's going to settle back down into the drain pan. And once that settles back down in your drain pan, it's going to go, the oil level is going to go from the middle back all the way up to the top circle, which is full. And so this way, when you start up your car the next time on, uh, on a cold start, it, it's not, um, it starts there at the full mark, as opposed to if you would have originally had already filled it up to the full mark now we'll go, it on a cold start it will go past that full mark and that's pretty much no good you're just adding uh, unnecessary wear and tear to your motor and your gaskets and your seals so it's it's unnecessary so whenever you fill up your car always go down to your half and some cars are a little bit different you can go maybe at least three quarters of the way but you could probably check it out 
by um so i did my oil change now and then i can check it out by tomorrow morning on a cold start i'll check where it's at and if it's still under a little bit under full then that means that i can go as high as three quarters of the way between the low circle and the top circle and that's basically it so that way you know how to uh, correctly fill your um the car's uh, oil capacity and that's it thank you guys for watching